Hi, it's Corrine. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I thought I would share a little inspiration if you need a quick little gift for a friend or a coworker. This is actually for our mail lady. I'm using Cartabella's Christmas delivery and I did cut out a few little tags, things, I end up not using most of those, but I just cut out a few um, just so I had options. I cut out a piece of paper that was seven by about eight and a half. I didn't measure the length of it too much. I figured because I'm wrapping it around, it'll overlap. And now I'm using some double-sided tape and just creasing it around the candy bar. This, I wanted to give her a gift card and this is just a nice way to hold the gift card. So I'm just wrapping that around, adhering that down. And this piece, I think I cut to about five by six. Again, I didn't measure it at all. I will eyeball it and then cut it down to size here. So I'm going to use my tonic guillotine cutter and take about, I think I don't take quite an inch off of it. I'm just wrapping it around the gift card and I, I will take it to my scoreboard here because I was worried about it, um, the paper cracking. So I wanted to give myself a nice crease there to fold it. And then I'll use my bone folder to make sure it's creased down very well. I want it just large enough to hold the gift card snug without being too tight. I want her to be able to access it easily. So once I had that in place, I just used my hot glue gun, adhered that down, and then I'll glue that directly on top of the candy bar using some Fabri-Tac. Just centering that to, on the top. Now I'm pulling out some green satin ribbon, tying a bow. Originally I tied a bow and then you'll see here that I change it up. I'll explain why in just a moment. It, basically it was just a little too bulky in the center there, but that made a really pretty bow. I pulled out some of these um, poinsettia flowers that I had, if you follow me, you saw I made a wreath video not that long ago, maybe last week. And I put I layered several of these, but I ended up not using them. So I'm glad to use it for this project here. I just added one more to the top. And this I got from my local dollar store. It's, as you can see, a glittery gold flower. And I'm pulling, I'm cutting off some of the leaves from it just to add on there. And this is where I found that it was way too bulky. It was sitting up a little too high and I didn't want it to sit that high. I wanted it to sit flush on top of that little gift card. So I'm just kind of looking at it here and decided that I wasn't happy with that. So I'm just going to make it look like I tied it in a bow and hold it together with hot glue. And that way it's flat in the center. She'll never see that. So I didn't care how it looked under there as long as it held it the way I wanted it to. So again, using my hot glue, I'm just going to hold that down, let that dry for a second and then add loops as if it were a bow. You wouldn't have to do this, um, but like I said, I I wasn't I wanted that flower to sit completely completely flush down, and it wasn't. It was kind of sitting a little too high. So just kind of getting my bow where I want before I adhere my hot glue, and now I can glue my flower straight down. I was much happier with that. The poinsettia flowers are the large flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. I'll be sure to list, list them down in the description box if you're looking for them. They're really pretty. Love to layer them. And these also, these are frosted berry sprays from Wild Orchid Crafts. So I'm adding one to the center of that. Super pretty. I had one viewer say that it looked like it was encased in ice, and she's right. It does look like that. They're really pretty to work with. I love using them. Here are some of the white berry sprays, again, from Wild Orchid Crafts. I'm going to tuck two of them on the side there. Super pretty. So I'll link those down in the description box if you're interested in those as well. And now I'm just taking my heat gun to get rid of any hot glue strings that are hanging around. Here's a little tag. I'm just adding my sentiment to the back of it. Wishing her a Merry Christmas from us. And I, I will use my crocodile, add a tiny little hole in the top and some crochet twine to wrap it around that flower. I 
I forgot to add her name to it. So I went ahead and added her name to the top. And again, I'm just going to kind of wrap that so it's tucked under the flower. Tie a little knot in it, leaving, leaving it to hang slightly. And then I'll cut off the excess string so you don't see those. And that's really all there was to it. It's a cute little way to hold a gift card. I hope you've enjoyed it. And Merry Christmas to you. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And thanks so much for your support of my channel. Have a great day.